Welcome, we are in the recording of 24th of January. Now yesterday we spoke about using our specialities, that means the gifts which God has given to us on a daily basis as a reminder that use this my child and help other souls. And you are reminded that I have got this kind of speciality within me, I have got this talent within me, why don't I use it somewhere else? And God says that that is a speciality given to you, but you have to use it in the right manner so that you remain content and others also remain content with you. Now that is very important. So others can remain content with you when they see that you don't have any ego, you don't have any jealousy, you don't have any any form of, uh, let's say, negative attitude towards others or you don't look down upon others or you're not too boastful about your own talent and qualities. So God says that's why that you have to take care of the speciality, the special care has to be given. So let's understand in his own words, God says, May you be a special soul who receives the fruit of contentment from your seed of speciality. So fruit of contentment from your seed of speciality. Now there's a condition over here. We're going to explore that now. In this special age, which is known as the confluence age, that means the transition of Narak to Swarg or Hell to Heaven or Iron Age, Kali Yug to Satya Yug, Golden Age. So the transition time is going on right now. Now some of us believe it, some of us don't believe it. It's okay. But time will tell us what's exactly happening in the world. So some of us get to know a little earlier, some of us realize it a little later. So that's why God says, in this special age, the most elevated fruit from the seed of speciality is contentment. If you have got some, some special talent, then if you use it and it helps somebody else in their life, then contentment is there. Right. To be content and to make everyone content is a sign of a special soul. That means certain qualities, talents, understanding of the knowledge or wisdom has been given to us, imparted by God to us. And if we use that wisdom or talent and I, we actually give it to somebody else, some other soul who needs it, who's demanding for it, who actually is weak without it, when we give it to that soul, automatically that soul feels content and you also feel content. So God then says, therefore water the seed, that means that thought, that talent, water the seed and blessing of speciality with the water of all powers and it will become fruitful. All powers means that certain times what happens is we have a talent but then it is not used or people don't recognize it and then we might feel a little down, we might feel that okay people are not giving importance to it. But that's also subtle ego. We have to understand that whenever we have certain qualities, it's God's duty and God's plan to put us ahead. So if you're thinking of, I need to be ahead, I was supposed to be there and I was supposed to be asked to come and I was supposed to be asked to explain, then that is ego. And then we will not feel content ourselves, nor the person who is going to listen from us is going to feel content because that's a negative seed. Then God says, Therefore use the powers. So power to tolerate. Why wasn't I called up on the stage? Why wasn't I asked to explain that thing to them? I brought them over here and I was also allowed, I was not allowed to be there. And those questions are all diverting towards or indicating that we have subtle ego within us. And that can actually make our speciality look dark. So God that's why says otherwise from time to time a fully grown tree is also shaken by storms and breaks. So it breaks up. Why? Because of that subtle ego, because of the lack of understanding, lack of judgment of what God is trying to do. Lack of understanding that I have to be egoless. Only then can I tolerate. Only then can I face situations. Why was it my idea taken? Ego. So God that's why says otherwise you'd be that storm of ego, the storm of why and why not, all those questions is going to break you. God then says, this means that as you move along, there isn't that hope, enthusiasm, happiness or spiritual intoxication. And that's what happens when our thoughts, our words and our plans are not accepted by others. We feel that, okay, it's an insult to me and that's ego. So sometimes what happens when we don't have the power to tolerate, power to discern what is right, what is wrong. Oh well, you know, I had given a suggestion but then you know the situation and the timing and the atmosphere required something else so it's okay. 
my words were not listened to or my ideas were not taken as okay power to face power to tolerate power to judge power to discern power to adjust and when these are not there then our enthusiasm is gone that's why god says the storms what will they do they take out your enthusiasm they take away your happiness your spiritual intoxication you're running very happily and then suddenly somebody puts a break onto your life doesn't allow you to use a speciality and you feel what does he think and that's a very big break and then the hope goes away so make your make your powerful seed fruitful by using the right method otherwise we are in for trouble well spiritual life also teaches us a lot of things it's not just that you have to learn this knowledge and you have to just speak it out it needs a lot of preparation it needs a lot of understanding it needs a lot of inner understanding mental juggling mental understanding mental powers so it's not about just speaking out the knowledge it's much more than that and you learn all this at prema kumaris on a daily basis don't miss out on it be there om shanti